cable in the classroom, tears down walls, opens minds. As a founding member of Cable in the Classroom, Rogers Cable Systems is committed to providing over 2,700 publicly funded schools in Ontario and British Columbia with free cable service. The three videos on this tape are meant to assist educators in understanding the potential of Cable in the Classroom programming as a teaching tool. Let us now begin with the first part of this video, TV for Teaching. Television and video are resources with ever-increasing value as teachers access exceptional educational programs through Cable in the Classroom. Cable in the Classroom is a public service initiative by cable operators and programming services. Together they offer educationally relevant, copyright cleared, commercial free French and English language cable television programming. This free service is readily available to elementary and secondary schools across Canada. Cable in the Classroom is an ongoing partnership between cable operators, a wide range of programming services, and the local community channel. Together, they work with boards of education and teachers to provide educationally relevant programming and support materials to schools. Teachers are always looking for up-to-date resources to interest and motivate their students. Programming services often receive requests from teachers asking for permission to tape television programs. Now, through Cable in the Classroom, special programming with copyright clearance is available for taping and use in the classroom. These programs are aired commercial-free for teachers to record at home or at school. Our list of programming services is ever-expanding. Members provide quality educational programming and develop low-cost or free support materials for teachers. Many schools across Canada have been connected and are receiving free cable service since the Cable in the Classroom program was launched in 1995. If your school is not yet connected, contact your local school board or cable operator. To help teachers identify the special Cable in the Classroom programs, cable operators provide a magazine which includes complete program listings. The magazine also includes articles and lesson plans. In rural areas not passed by cable, the magazine and support materials are available. Cable in the Classroom presents teachers with an opportunity to develop outstanding visual resource libraries, complete with lesson plans. It's a dynamic teaching tool which enables educators to help students understand television better, develop the skills they need to evaluate what they watch, and to make healthy viewing choices. Our second part is how it can work for you. Remember when a teacher rolled in the television set and the class cheered because it meant no work today? Hello, I'm Helen Coltrinari. Cable in the Classroom provides access to educationally relevant, commercial free, copyright cleared programming. Since we were children, we have learned to expect that television is for our entertainment, not our education. Teachers need to be aware of this phenomenon and to help students understand that television can be an exciting and informative way to learn. 
Teachers realize that the best viewing in a classroom environment is managed viewing. The teacher's role in any video or television-based lesson is to facilitate learning, monitor students' responses, assess comprehension, and use simple, straightforward utilization techniques. The overall goal of any lesson using television or video is to create active, not passive, critically thinking viewers. There are many effective strategies proven to be invaluable aids for effective in-class use of the television set. A key strength of cable in the classroom is that it allows teachers to choose programs of interest, tape and preview them. The whole tape need not be shown. Segments which will have the most impact in supporting the needs of students and the curriculum can be specifically selected. Printed materials tailored for use with individual programs are often available. Previewing activities help to integrate the viewing into an overall learning experience. The process of brainstorming or predicting and hypothesizing content raises the student's awareness about what to expect. Any previewing activities should lead directly to the video where students discover the answers. Set the classroom stage for comfortable viewing. Leave the lights on as a cue to the students that work will be done and put the television high enough for an unobstructed view of the screen. Phono plugs can be used to eliminate hiss and snow when the videotape is stopped. These tips can help teachers model effective, well thought out uses of the technology. During the viewing, involve students actively by giving them a focus for viewing, that is, a reason to watch. A teacher might ask, count the number of times we see right angled objects, or at what moment does the main character change your mind about her friend? The pause button on the VCR is a useful tool. Make use of it to identify, clarify, hypothesize, predict, get instant feedback, or to check comprehension. Using this function of the VCR demonstrates for students the control that a teacher or that they as viewers can have over this medium. Replay the same segment for a second or third viewing. Focus on a different aspect of the video each time. Colors, shapes, sizes, and expressions take on new meaning when reconsidered and reevaluated. This is a particularly strong strategy for songs, science experiments, lists, and quick montages of visuals. By turning off the sound, students can focus on the visuals, television's strongest element. This approach works especially well in language classes, where students can then create their own narrative or dialogue. It also facilitates prediction, analysis, and hypothesis. Imagine the possibilities presented by allowing students to gather information based on auditory discrimination only. Cover the screen and see what happens. Let students create their own visuals. After viewing, most teachers actively extend the experience, applying the knowledge gained and reinforcing a concept. By building a plan which includes before, during, and after viewing activities, the television medium can be fully integrated into the learning experience. Activities needn't be complicated, just curriculum relevant. Encourage students to use videos in a similar fashion as part of their presentations to the class. Perhaps create a television activity center. Collect useful science, language, and other educational videos. Create task cards to prompt and guide viewing. Coach the students in creating databases of particularly effective video segments to share with their classmates. Allow students to operate the VCR, treating it as any other resource in the classroom. Keep in mind, two different states, right? Creative application of videos by a teacher models for students the effective use of this medium. The road to active viewing is not difficult. It requires preparation, as do all effective teaching methods and tools. Once a successful television or video-based lesson is prepared, be sure to share it with colleagues and with us at Cable in the Classroom. We welcome your ideas.
Our third and final part is tools to make it work. Television is a teaching resource. Like any other instrument of learning, its true value is realized through effective use and ongoing support. Cable in the Classroom strives to ensure that video becomes a meaningful component of any teaching resource kit. Cable in the Classroom is a partnership between the cable and programming services industries. Together, they make educationally relevant, copyright clear, and commercial free programming in English and French accessible to educators. There are three key tools to support teachers' use of cable in the classroom. A national bilingual magazine, a worldwide website, and lesson plans. These exciting resources are designed to facilitate the sharing of information, much of it developed by teachers for teachers. The magazine is published three times each year and is made available free of charge to schools by the local cable operator in cooperation with school boards. This resource offers a complete listing of cable in the classroom programs, organized by programming service. The services available vary by region. This alphabetical guide makes it easier to determine what's accessible locally. In addition to the listings, teachers will find articles written by educators offering tips on ways to include television and video into the curriculum. A helpful section called Themes to Consider gives examples of how to integrate several different cable in the classroom programs into the learning experience. The calendar in the magazine is a good place to note air dates for shows of interest as a reminder to program the VCR. Teachers are encouraged to photocopy relevant sections, then keep the magazine in the staff room, library, or resource center for reference. Although the program listings change for each issue, the articles remain relevant and will continue to be of interest to other teachers in the school. Labeled, dated, and placed in a central location, tapes can be well utilized by others. Schools in the licensed area of participating cable operators across the country receive copies of the magazine free. Additional subscriptions are also available. The number of teachers and schools going online expands daily. A world of information awaits. The Cable in the Classroom website is a dynamic and evolving support tool loaded with information, resources, and schedules. Located at www.cableeducation.ca, this bilingual site allows teachers to quickly pick out details about programs available in their province. As well, a time zone map provides confirmation of local broadcast times. Many of the programming services provide support materials to assist teachers. Lesson plans are available on the website, by contacting the network directly, and occasionally in the magazine. Lesson plans illustrate ways teachers can incorporate all or part of a program into their curriculum. It is helpful to have one person in each school identified as the cable in the classroom contact. This person is often the school principal or librarian. Support information sent to the contact by cable operators is designed for distribution and posting in a convenient visible location, like the staff room or the library. Some school boards have established a standing committee to implement cable in the classroom. Others involve parent-teacher organizations. Keeping parents involved and aware about the use of television in the classroom can lead to a new perspective on family viewing practices at home. We invite teachers to share lesson plans and ideas, both with other teachers and with us at Cable in the Classroom. We look forward to hearing from you as Cable in the Classroom takes its place as a valuable teaching tool. We welcome your suggestions and feedback on Cable in the Classroom. Please feel free to contact your local Rogers Cable in the Classroom representative with your comments.